Welcome to What I Do. I'm Rob Melnichek. Joining me is Lori Hartshorn, Director of Advancement for Equip in Canada. Lori, it's great to have you with me today. Thank you. Lori, tell us about the Ministry of Equip and what it's actually doing around the world. Well, Equip is a nonprofit organization, and we specialize in the development of effective Christian leaders worldwide, both leaders in the church and leaders in the marketplace. We recognize the critical need for leadership development as leaders have such a ripple effect throughout the organization, the church, the country, the community that they live in. Lori, you said that leadership has a tremendous influence and impact within the workplace. Can you give us a bit of a taste of the materials that Equip teaches to your sessions all over the globe? Absolutely. In fact, Robert, one of the key lessons that we teach all over the world is the lesson of the secure leader versus the insecure leader. Um, this is such a strategic lesson and often it turns the light bulb on, so to speak, to leaders when they hear this because of the power of influence of the leader and when a leader is insecure, it affects the organization. In fact, a lot of challenges in the organization can come down to the emotional insecurity of a leader. You know, we all struggle with insecurity to some degree, right? Mm -hmm. And it's best for us to uh, accept it, to acknowledge it, and to identify it in ourselves in order to move forward as leaders. So it's possible for a leader to identify an insecure part of their lives. Absolutely, and I think awareness is key. And so we often will teach the difference, uh, and it's simply illustrating it, we can find the greatest example of a leader in Jesus Christ. He was the greatest leader who ever lived, and he chose towels versus titles. And we see that exemplified in his life, that Christ was a servant leader. He washed the feet of his disciples. He wasn't interested or in need of any title. A secure leader also empowers others versus uh, their need for control. A tr uh, secure leader will give their power away. They will want to rather raise up others rather than hold them back and have a high need to be involved on every committee or in control of every event. A secure leader also will take responsibility for their failures and mistakes, where an insecure leader will often cast blame on others, whether it's the organization's fault, they'll blame it on maybe the theology or the people in the church, you know. But a secure leader will say, no, no, I will take responsibility for the mistakes and failures mm -hmm. that have come my way. And finally, one of the things that we teach is that secure leaders want to add value to others, where an insecure leader is more concerned about people adding value to them. Now that's an important statement. If you can just elaborate a bit on that, because when you look at your mission statement of wanting to be able to strategically train up leaders all over the globe, because that's what you believe, Equip believes will effectively change the world for the purpose of Christ. So how does, Lori, an insecure leader who wants to gain value from others differ from the secure one who adds value? Well, others. ultimately, you're right. The Great Commission is our whole goal at Equip. We want to reach the world for Jesus Christ. And we believe that if we strategically go to the leaders in every country of the world is our goal, and we, and we teach leaders how to leave as, lead as servants, to want to bring and encourage their own people to operate in their strengths, to build teams, to recognize their strengths and weaknesses and making other people move ahead of them, it empowers and enables people to see who Jesus Christ is. Now, do you think it's, it's difficult for men and women to give away the power of leadership? Absolutely. In fact, I think leadership and even the world's view of leadership is the opposite. It's more of a search for power. And a, and a seeking of power. John Maxwell, in his one of his bestsellers, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership, he teaches the law of empowerment. And the law of empowerment uh, says that only secure leaders give their power to others. And that really is a model of biblical leadership. When we go into countries where they've never seen biblical leadership, they've only seen heavy-handed leadership, dictatorial mm -hmm. leadership, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a complete paradigm shift to understand things from a biblical perspective. It brings great freedom in their life. Equip is not only evangelistic in nature, but it's a discipleship. As the church explodes around the world, we are discipling and growing the millions that are literally coming to Christ today. So one of the keys, and, I, and I'm picking this up, and correct me if I'm wrong, is to be able to train up leaders who will give the power away to lead to others that will influence others and strategically if that goal and that mission is accomplished, we can reach the world for Christ. Absolutely. And our training is not an event, it's a process. It's a process. We believe that leaders are not made in a day. 
their in life over a lifetime of learning. So when we train leaders, we spend a decade in a country. And the most important thing in our part of training is we do have conferences and we do have partnerships that are using our curriculum, but the, the value of our training is we train leaders to train leaders who train leaders who train leaders, mm -hmm. and the process is never ending. It's about mentorship, it's about passing and transferring the training on to others. Boy, I believe equips a great organization and you're gonna do a great job as the Director of Advancement in Canada. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you, Robert. For more information on the work of Equip, go to iequip.org. Thanks for watching What I Do, and remember, it's your call.